In Switch's first year, Nintendo's two colossal franchises will be dueling for the top sale spot. Who will win? Let's go! Going debate style, we're gonna have a vote at the end, so yes. stick around, you'll be able to click right in the video to vote for which game you think will get the most sales. Super Mario Odyssey. Or Breath of the Wild. Yes, or my dumb opponent, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> to be fair, I'm not dumb, you stuck me with this choice, so. <laughs> now before we start, I found it helpful to look at some data from the Wii. I did not. Well, I did. I did my research, and guess what? It yeah. supports your choice, Okay. possibly. All right, let's hear it. If we look at the Wii, Zelda was released in November of 2006. Yeah. That's Twilight Princess. And Mario Galaxy was released in November of the following year. Really? So there was a bigger space. Yeah. But Twilight Princess sold 2.6 million units. Galaxy sold... 12.75 million oh, users, oh, wow. so almost double. I have a hard time believing that. Wow. I know, that kind of blew my mind. Yeah, because Lifetime Wii sales were a little bit over 100 million, so this is just about like a percentage. Yes, but also hmm. we got to take a look at Twilight Princess was a two console system. A lot yeah, of people was. bought it on GameCube. So to be fair, those those are the numbers. We wanted to. I wanted to get that out All right. so that we can look at the past to see the future. Okay. So, and then let me also get this out of the way before the commenters fly on their keyboards. Uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe will probably beat both of these titles. Probably. Mario Kart Wii was the top selling Wii game. That will probably, or wait, maybe I'm thinking of Mario Kart 8 on Wii U, but, or, or yeah. both. Either way, it might, yeah. Um, this will be more of a close battle. So I'll, I'll argue for Super Mario Odyssey right here. Yeah, so go for it. This is the most recognizable Nintendo character and one of the top five recognizable characters up there with Mickey Mouse in the whole entire world. So there's it's got to have that going for it. It'll also be a holiday release and it's going to be the biggest shopping season. It's going to be on everyone's Christmas lists. And I really wouldn't be surprised if Nintendo bundles it with Switch hardware and that'll be available in November. Wouldn't be surprised at all if we see that. So a lot of new Switch customers, a lot of people buying Mario. Mm -hmm. Mario Odyssey will appeal to the whole family, kids game, adults game, people like us that played Super Mario you know, 64. It's going back to that style. Mm -hmm. It'll be fun for the whole family, parents, kids, everyone. And then Something that you might not think about is there will be advertisements available through people's smartphones and be, you will probably get a push notification from Nintendo because you have what installed? Super Mario oh, Run. Run. So there will be a tie-in with that game, new levels with the hat eyes or whatever. Trust me, they will leverage that. Oh yeah. And that game is on so many phones. So people are going to learn about Super Mario Odyssey that way. It will probably get near-perfect scores. If you look back on the series history, the franchise's scores mm -hmm. historically, it'll get a 9 or a 10 probably. And then that new little mascot, the hat with the eyeballs. I'm foreseeing merchandise. That's true. It's cute. It is cute. And it's probably going to get find its way right into our hearts and probably be a little hat amiibo hat plushie, oh i'm sure hat, oh hat hat <laughs> it's gonna probably. happen so i think super mario odyssey has a big chance in catching back up to breath of the wild sales and surpassing it okay <clears throat> now it's my turn um first of all we have that Breath of the Wild was a system launch game. Mm -hmm. Came out with a system, therefore it's yeah. going to be synonymous with the system. Oh, and did you hear the attach rate? No, what is the attach rate? Over 100%. <laughs> how, did, how is it over 100%? It is. Um, Nintendo speculated that maybe some people bought like the digital special copy. edition oh. and master edition like and kept it 
and then bought another copy to play or something like that. Okay, that that <laughs> helps my and, and I was expecting that. I don't. I didn't have the data there for that. Yeah, I I was insane. going to insinuate that though. Okay, so there is that. The attach rate is ridiculous. Not only is the attach rate ridiculous, but the sales rate of the Switch mm -hmm. um, going with the attach rate is insane. It outsold the PS4's opening weekend. Yep. So that being said, there's already been a ton of Breath of the Wild sales. Mm. Another thing we have to keep in mind is the time frame that we're going for. You mentioned that... Mario is going to be a holiday release, which is going to help its sales initially, but in the long run, can we really look at that? We can say Breath of the Wild will also be during that season. It won't be a new game, oh, but it will, it will still be being sold. It'll be on people's Christmas lists and everything. Exactly. Yeah. Um, perfect scores, pretty much across the board. There's been a few that have been a little bit less than perfect because people have very high standards and yeah. they do their job as critics. And then there's a few that did a low score for clickbait. Oh yeah, of course. That's that's gonna happen. Yours, at this moment is speculation, good chance that it's going to be a good game, but Breath of the Wild is out and we already know that it is a near perfect game. Mario Odyssey, we don't know that. It also might be um, hype scores at that mm, point. I know it. I've seen the future. Uh, well, you know it. You may know it, but I don't know it. Mario Galaxy 2 is the same way. Mm -hmm. I prefer the original Mario Galaxy over Mario Galaxy 2. People are like, this is the best Mario <laughs> game. If you were to ask anybody what the best Mario game is now, I can almost guarantee you that none of them, just about none of them would say Mario Galaxy 2 was the best Mario they'd game. They'd go older. Yeah, they'd either yeah. go older or... Yeah, they'd older. go older. <laughs> Unless they, there's some new Super Mario Brothers we love somewhere. No, or uh, new Super Mario 3D World. Or Super Mario 3D World. Not that That's much also, love, actually. Not, not that much love. Still really good. Um, we what got your holiday. Your, oh, that's the Super perfect. Mario. Yeah, we don't, we don't know how good it's going to be. It has a possibility <coughs> of not being as good. I gotcha. Is that going to affect sales? We did, probably not, but I just want to point that out there. We know mm. what what I am saying is we do know yeah. what Breath of the Wild is, and it is great. Holiday DLC coming up. Yep, another big sailing 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 point sailing point. You know, <laughs> Breath of the Wild sailing on the little rafts. Right. Um, and this one will be storyline and dungeon. Yes, yes. Th these are big deals. Yes. Big deals coming out holiday season. Going to be a big selling point. Also, Zelda Breath of the Wild big deal expansion. Yes, the big deal expansion. That's what that's what I would call it. Also, it has this thing mm -hmm. that I would like to call Skyrim appeal. Okay. Now, this is what separates it, I think, from the Wii data. Um, one of the things that separates it from the Wii data is... Legend of Zelda versus Mario, which is going to be more popular? Yeah. Mario, obviously. But if you look at Breath of the Wild, it is so unique. It is has amassed so much critical acclaim. And anytime I've played it in front of somebody who knows video games, they immediately, or talk about somebody who knows about video games, they immediately compare it to Skyrim, mm -hmm. another great game. It gets kind of annoying, honestly. <laughs> but there is that immediate connection of, that was a good game. This game is like that game, and it looks, it, it combines two great things, Skyrim and Legend of Zelda, yeah. and it's awesome. There, There's nobody that plays this game actually and doesn't say that it's awesome. Like, there's obviously problems with it, but I think that appeal to that audience that they wouldn't normally appeal to, mm. and Skyrim being such a big seller as well, that might be enough to push it over the edge. All right. Your case has been laid bare. Yes. Well, everyone, we have a poll popping up. This is a YouTube interactive poll where you can decide which game you think will win in sales in the long run. Yes. Maybe one of us changed your mind. Let us know in the comments, and thank you for watching. Don't forget to vote, and then comment your thoughts below. See you guys. Signing out.